بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد إن شاء الله تبارك وطالة النيت the 19th night of the month of Safar 1440 after the Hijrah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Ajma'in Min Mecca to Ila Medina From Mecca to Medina So we continue with inshallah ta'ala our reading of the explanation of the nullifiers of Al-Islam the ten nullifiers of Al-Islam. The ten nullifiers of Al-Islam. Now, as a warm-up warm up question, do we can we say that there is... What can we say about this title, the ten nullifiers of Islam? What can we say about the title, the ten nullifiers of Islam? What can you say about the title, the ten nullifiers of Islam? I can't say it in better English than that. Naam. Very good. They are the ten from the nullifiers of Islam. That doesn't mean they are only ten nullifiers of Islam. What else can we say about that? What else can you add on that? What else can we add on those? What else can we add on those? Huh? Uh-huh. No, I'm talking about as far as in regard in regard to the to the nullifiers, in regard to these ten nullifiers. What else can we say? He said that they are ten from the nullifiers of Islam, meaning there are many more, more than ten. But what else can we say? Now, the major ten, right? The major nullifier. We can say that. Same thing, major, but. Yes. More common, very good. But more common in com in 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 in, what, in compare to what? More common, based on what? Based on. Very good. That was the most common nullifier during the time of Shaykh Muhammad and Abdul Wahab. Right. But if you go to the books, the books that talks about the nullifiers of Islam. You have either books that was written, right? Majallad, yani volumes are talked about what? Nullifiers of Islam, meaning things that you naqid al-Islam. Also, <coughs> in, the, uh, in the books of fiqh, you have some abwab that are dedicated, some chapters that are dedicated to talk about what? To talk about the nullifiers of Islam. And they are more extensive than these ten. So Shaykh Muhammad al Wahhab, he brought these ten why? Because they were the most common ones during his time. They were the ones that were the most widespread during his time. But you got many nullifiers of Islam that he did not bring. But he brought that which was Al-Aham. He brought those that were the most important ones. Right? The most dangerous ones. The most, yani. Uh, predominant ones, those that were seen, right? That any those that was being uh, witnessed during his time. So the third one, Barakallahu Fikum, it is in regard to whomsoever does not declare the disbelievers or the polytheists to be disbelievers. Okay, whomsoever does not declare the polytheists to be disbelievers. Or, or, before, before the agreement, Santa, say a little louder so he will hear you. 
very good or having doubt about their disbelief ahsanta or having doubts about their disbelief aw shakka fi ash fi in uh, having having doubt in their disbelief that's disbelief and that which is worse is to what to agree with their ways to agree with their ways so this is the worst to have doubts about the disbelief of the disbelief of the disbelievers it is kufr itself but what is worse is what to to be in line with their methodology to agree with their ways this is worst and sometimes being in agreement with their ways doesn't necessarily mean that you say it oh, i agree with their ways la it could be doing what they do right let's say if a person go to the store on halloween buy candies is he agreeing with their ways even if he say ashhadu an la ilaha illallah ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah he is agreeing with his with their ways or he himself right will be giving out candy on that night even if his own kids are not going to trick or treat trick or treat even if his kids are not going to and they beg for candy that's what you call it begging right but he had his kids home right but he is giving handing out candies he is agreeing with their ways or he is sending his kids to go uh to go uh, trick or treat that also is to what to agree with their ways and as our older brother all in age and all in da'wa and knowledge abu Abu Abbas Musa Richards and he mentioned something that is important he said we should teach our children to be away from these ways of the pagans the ways of the disbelievers which is this and the ways of the demons cuz this is the, 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 the this is what the people do during this day that's their indeed a holiday of the of the disbelievers wal iyadu billah طيب So it is a must that we clarify this to our children walillahi alhamdu wal min hatta yakununa ala basira until they will be upon in sight to know that this is not the day that you should even ask for no candy not to even your father or your mother so yep if one can stay away from candy that day let him do so alhamdulillah i whether it is from the grown ups or the, the youth the shabab so yep because it is perhaps that you agree with their ways even though you are not verbally saying it but this is what is called bilisani halihi bilisani halihi by his statement right by madira by his action the statement of his actions right the statements of his actions so shah sal al fadhan hafizahu allah wa rahi mention that indeed the the yahud and the nasara they acknowledge some of them acknowledge that the prophet muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam he is the messenger of allah but they acknowledge something that is restricted meaning they acknowledge it in a restricted way they they acknowledge that he is only a messenger to the arabs only to the arabs even if they would have do so that this is to deny to disbelieve in what in the generality of the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam being a messenger that allah sent to the entire mankind so this is to refute those who have this what you call al hiwar bayn al adyan right the interfaith dialogue right this is a refutation as in regard to the interfaith dialogue wal iyadu billah he say because indeed the deen of the yahudiya and the deen of the christians they don't have really nothing in common barakallahu feekum because islam is built upon the tawhid of allah to single out allah in our worship 
But the deen of the Yahud is built upon what? Saying that Uthair is the son of Allah. While we recite, Qul hu wallahu ahad, and alhamdulillah, look at the ni'mah of Allah, the favor of Allah, the ease he has made. In majority of the Muslims, they memorize Surah Al-Ikhlas. Majority of the Muslims, alhamdulillah, no matter how da'if they are in their memorization, they memorize Surah Al-Ikhlas. Right? They memorize Surah Al-Ikhlas, alhamdulillah. And Allah Taala informed us, "Walan tarda an kal Yahud, walan Nasara, hatta tatbi amilatahum." That the Yahud nor the Nasara will never, ever, be pleased with you until you follow their ways. Until you follow their ways. So it is a must for us to know the ways of the Yahud and the Nasara in all aspect to it. In all aspect to it. And not only to know the ways of the Yahud and the Nasara faqat la. But likewise the ways of the Ahlul Inhiraf. Was zayg. As our brother Abu Anisa be saying. Right? We must know how they div- the people of deviation they deviated. In all aspect to it. Not only barakallah fikum in the aqidah point. But also, barakallah fikum, in those furu' the branches. For instance, you have this individual, they call themselves La Riba. Right? La Riba. I'm heard, most of us heard about La Riba. Adam? Yes. yes. Okay, there is not, there is, there is, La Riba is worse than what the banks are doing. The La Riba is worse than what the kuffar min al-yahud wa nasara are doing. Those saying la riba, right? What they do is worse than what the kuffar of the yahud and the nasara are doing in these financial institutions around the, 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 the place. Because what the kuffar are doing, listen, they're not painting it blue or red or yellow. They left it plain or simple. That it is based on what? Interest. They ain't hiding that. But as Allah riba or whatever. Lir riba. We say lir riba. Right? As this guy is lir riba. Right? La riba. Listen. They will take interest. They will take the riba. And they will paint it. So they will disguise you from that. They will, they will, they will fool you in regard to that. So the Muslim that is weak in his understanding, they oh, okay, there is no riba, bam, just the name, Akhi, changing the names. It's not going to change the reality. Taghirul asma. Changing the names. La yughayirul haqaiq. It's not going to change the, the, the reality. Get a cup of water. Call it tea all you want. Call it cup of coffee all you want. It's never going to be a cup of tea or it will always be a cup of water. Changing the names will not change the reality. So they will take Barakallah Fikum, these little play here and there, games and gimmicks, and they want to sh- tell you, oh, we, have, it, we are interest free. They are lying. They are worse than the Yahud and the Nasara in regard to this thing. Because the Christians, the Yahud and the, the Kufar, they are hiding. That their institutions are interest based. But this individual, they say, we don't have no riba. But when you look at the technicality of the matter, that you will know that this is just the riba, that they change the names. I'm sure that most of us, if not all of us, we're paying rent. At the